Hi everyone, my name is Rahul Mehta. I am a senior product manager at Mobileye, and I'm going to give you a quick overview and demo of Mobileye Monitor. Let's take a look at how the product works. IT and system admins to monitor Mobileye servers such as cores and sentries, and related services pertaining to system, infrastructure, application, and certificates. It also allows the admin to receive notifications proactively in the event if any of the Mobileye product specific components or services have performance or functional impact. Based on this information, an admin can also generate an incident ticket with ServiceNow. First, I will show you how to configure Mobileye monitor from your core instance. Log into the mix portal of core and go to settings, syslog servers. Click on add and provide host name or IP of monitor instance. You can select either UDP or TCP for protocol. Select admin state to enable and click apply. Now click on syslog data and make sure all the four checkboxes are checked and check all the options under advanced options. So as an admin, I will log into the monitoring console using local credentials. It takes me to the default landing page under dashboard overview. The navigation bar shows information such as different type of alerts, critical, warning, and information. Along with that, it also shows the number of cores with the alerts and information about the sentry. You will see similar information captured in the card view as well. Now let's say that you want to view detailed information for a particular core. You can click on the card view, which takes you to the systems tab. You will see a navigation bar with summary of key metrics. Here, you will also see different charts providing information related to system health. You can do trend analysis from five minutes to two weeks. Information is displayed in different formats, such as line charts, bar charts, and pie charts. Notice that all the servers are appearing on a default group. You can group the servers into different categories such as production, QA, enterprise, retail, or any category that is suitable to your business needs. Here is an example. Go to settings and click on server groups, click on add, and provide a group name. In this particular instance, I'm using mobile and production. You can add a description if you like. Select servers from the list below and click next. You can associate a contact list for receiving any alert notification and then click save. Let's move on to the alerts page. Under alert activity, you will see the list of alerts generated from five minutes to two weeks across all the servers. You can filter the data based on server groups and severity. In order to get more details about the alert, you can click on the hyperlink. Under the alert detail page, you will see more information such as when the alert was first reported and last updated. You can also create a ServiceNow ticket with Mobileye support. If you are using ServiceNow as an incident reporting tool, you can integrate with Mobileye Monitor and can generate a ticket directly from the alert detail page. You will find more detailed information for this alert and also what impact it has, if any, on your environment. The KB article allows you to proactively address any issues without opening a support ticket. If you want to clear an alert or mute an alert temporarily, you can do that from alert activity page. So under report settings, you will see that we are listing different report templates and you have an option to enable the templates per your requirements. And these templates are tied to different products such as core and sentry. When you click on a hyperlink, it will take you for further configuring the template in terms of whether you want to generate the report on schedule and if so, it gives you an option to generate between four hours and four weeks. It also gives you an option to select the format such as PDF, CSV, or XLS. Alert notification support via email is a great option. However, we are also providing alert notifier integration with SMTP and third-party tools such as VictorOps, PagerDuty, and Slack. That's the demo. Thank you for watching.